Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to day one. Yes, day one. Of <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> hey, Lauren. Yes, hi, Julie. Hi, sweetie. Hey, you guys, I just wanted to commend you for being on here and taking time out of your day. We had so many people sign up, but you know what? You guys are, you're here. And I totally wanted to honor, honor that for making the commitment deciding that you deserve it, that you're worth it, that you can put yourself first for at least for this one hour. We probably won't go an hour today because it's, you know, people are still getting used to this, but it's amazing to see how many people say they're going to do something and then that don't do it. <laughs> right. But, yeah. you know, but, yes, but the good news is this is um, recorded on Facebook. So if you miss the zoom call, it's, it's live on my fan page, which is Lauren Powers official on Facebook, it's free. We're gonna be going live every uh, day at this time, noon Pacific, for just the next four, four days, including today would be five. So it's a five day body breakthrough challenge. We have a workbook that comes with it. This is the first time I'm launching a, a interactive workbook. So I'm really excited about it, but um, it's not a ton of ton of workouts part. So if you guys are really, you know, scared to get, sweaty or you're at work or you're on your lunch break or whatever you're doing if you're doing this at home which i hope you are because i this is a whole thing to make it super easy you can see i'm just in my home um i wanted to just show that all i need is a ball some hand weights a little mat and you can do a complete body workout with just minimal equipment with that being said before i even get started i wanted to share that i have a link that i just launched called the power home workout. And that's exciting. It has a bunch of my videos that just show you guys because everybody's busy. So what it, what's inside there is actually each body part broken down with my personal favorite exercise. So you can get in, mm -hmm. if you want to do biceps, it shows you exactly how to do biceps to get quick results. If you want to do triceps, quads, hams, calves, core, all of that's in this workout thing. It's a membership and I'm super proud of it to launch it. But right now, I just want to set you guys up for success. Hi, Julie. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Vicki. Again, you guys are here live on Zoom. I appreciate that. Again, it is on Facebook, so we have other people watching. If you guys want to comment, feel free to ask me questions anytime you want in the chat. You can go ahead and see that um, my team is on online with us. They're putting, as I speak, some, some clickable links that you can just join and, and get, get things um, easily accessible. What um, I'm known as, you guys, as a faith and fitness queen. What does that mean? That means that I'm putting my faith, if you look at my shirt, she is strong. Yes. Because um, I'm just so excited because I started going to a new church called Oceans here in Orange County, and it's completely flipped my faith on its head, literally. I've got so into making God my CEO, putting Jesus first, and then everything else kind of leveled up everything in my life, my business, my personal life, just everything has just been so exciting. And I just love sharing that and using my voice and my platform to say, to get your priorities, making, you know, cause I always preach health first, health first, without your health, what is your wealth? You know, I go on and on about that. I share my COVID story. I share all these different messages of my personal experience about making health a habit, changing your lifestyle. And all these things we're actually going to go through in the challenge, but with faith first and then fitness. So when I put that in that order, so this is my platform, my purpose, my passion, just to share with as many people as I can to realize that it works, <laughs> right? I see Naomi shaking her head. It just, it just does. And I'm attracting so many like-minded, especially women, because I'm at all these events, women networking groups. Um, Naomi and I are actually in the same uh, e-women group where we personally met at a big conference in Dallas, you know, with, with so many like-minded women. And I think that's a very powerful, I'm just going to share right now, is to get around supportive people, men or women, doesn't matter, your children, whoever, that supports you in your personal passion and in, in your dreams <clears throat> and really what serves you and makes you happy, right? So there you go, faith and fitness. I've got so many different programs um, about this. Again, you know, I'm just going to mention a couple of things as we go. This isn't really scripted out. You guys know me. Um, I just 
get downloads of messages. So whatever comes out of my mouth is, is what you're supposed to hear, you know, and that's, and that's how I, I rock. However, I did just get invited to do a Sue talk, which is going to be a, a 10 minute memorized speech, which is going to totally be new for me personally. That'll be, um, I have to speak on December 7th on the, cause it's going to be crazy, but I'm going to do it anyways. But for this challenge, I just want to, you know, <laughs> it's interactive. So you guys are feel free to ask me questions throughout each day. Um, if you want to share something there, the chat is open for you guys. Again, we're live on Facebook on my fan page on the Lauren Powers official page. We're also going to do replays on my YouTube channel. So, uh, some people are right now are texting me and emailing me going, I can't get on, I can't get on it. I'm at work or I'm this or that. And, and I understand that, but this is recorded. So the good news is you can come back and watch it at any time. But speaking of faith, I'd like to start with just a scripture each day. If you, did you guys have it? You can show a hand. So you guys have your workbooks? Did everybody? Uh, workbook? Mine's online. I mean, I can look at it online. Perfect. Because so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because I have it here. Let's see. Hang on. My workbook. There you go. Can you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. Five by five by three. So the first thing I, I just came to my mind, I literally just opened up um, this book and whatever scripture popped out, I believe that's what I'm supposed to share, which is so awesome. Hang up. There's a happy customer now. Let me turn off my phone. Anyways, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. This is what my favorite. This always... Um, pops out at me every single day. If you can see my little barbell here, it actually has this entire scripture on this little barbell. And it became, before I got baptized at Oceans and all this stuff, I've been wearing this for, gosh, a couple of years now as my signature piece, because I, I just feel it in my heart that I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. And I just wanted to share that in my workbook because I feel this is so powerful. Because let's face it right now, life is a little bit different than it was a couple of years ago. Would you guys agree? <laughs> it's like insane. So I believe, you know, just having that, having um, a good mindset and things of that nature is really going to help us get through some of these times. So if you guys can see that day one, I'd love you guys, if you don't have this, you can maybe just take a note in your notebooks or print it out, what have you take notes because I wanted to start this challenge and just ask a couple of questions on what made you decide to start the challenge. You guys want to unmute yourself and maybe let me know. That would be great. Just to kind of get the, the ball rolling. Like maybe Naomi, I'll start with you, honey. Okay. So I um, have had problems with digestion and I did all the testing and I have a parasite and I need to maybe remove Naomi, that. With you, and so doing okay, a work. So I, um, had oh, feedback. Yeah, careful, you guys. If you can boot yourself until you're speaking, that'd be great. So doing, do, learning anything I can to help my body get the health back is what I'm all about. Perfect. And I know you do a lot of hiking and things like that. because I do. Great, which is so amazing. You're outdoors. You're, you know, you're crazy. We're getting ready to climb some volcano uh, glaciers in Mexico in February. But I can't climb it with this going on in my body. Ah, okay. Well, day three, I'm actually going to go through um, some, some food supplementation, some little hacks that I have done. So you guys have, that uh, don't tell me, I endorse something. It's because I use it. I get results from it mm -hmm. and I put my name on it. So the have is a stamp of approval. So I kind of save a lot of time and a lot of research and a lot of money of this trial and error to figure out what works, what doesn't work. And I have a, a big hack for parasites as well, Naomi. A couple of my past clients were um, loaded with, with parasites. It's kind of gross, but it's we all kind of have them, but some worse than others. And you want to detox them out, like big time. So if you want to get on a call with me later, let's, let me share some of this stuff because it's, it's kind of personal. <laughs> You know? Yeah, well, parasites are no joke, though. And so They're once no you joke. recognize that it's serious, then we got to take some action. Absolutely. I like that. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here for you. Um, anybody else want to share? Jules, I haven't seen you forever. We go back, gosh, what, 30 years? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, um, well, 
I've had a lot of health problems, um, diagnosed with thyroid cancer, um, a lot of intestinal problems after a procedure was done. And so um, it pretty much kept me home. And so I started, like you, I really dove into church and that was like saving, saving my life, I think. And um, I mean, I don't go out, I don't do anything with anybody really. I just, you know, kind of go to church, but mostly I do things at home. I, I'm on uh, like Zoom with um, Institute and college. So I'm like a sophomore now in college. Nice. And so I just, you know, I like here, I've got full blown scriptures. <laughs> Yeah, sitting, at, wow. sitting at my table, like nonstop. Um, but, you know, I think I just keep trying to do different things. I'm, I'm really not consistent in a lot of things. Um, I think I, I really don't know why it's frustrating, but I've been consistent with the church and reading my scriptures every day. So, but my food, um, I have a huge food fear because of the problems I've had with my intestines. So it's just kind of like a, you know, so I just keep trying and I just, and I saw your thing and I thought, you know what, just jump on there. And what can it hurt? Right. And plus we go back so many years. I know. And I love you, you know, I do. And I respect you. And I just, I, I mean, I'm constantly, you know, watching you as you've grown over the years (laughs) and I love that you're doing this faith. I, I truly believe that without God, it's like, how can you possibly, I mean, it's like he gives you everything. And so just to be grateful for all that you have, I, I just think that's wonderful. Absolutely. Yes. Who would have thought 30 years ago, which we were party girls. I know. Um, You know, we never (laughs) missed a party. We were at events. And not women's empowerment events, party events. And yeah. I'm proud to say after all of that from partying in the 80s when you and I go back is that I also uh, changed my life with being sober. So I'm really proud to say, I don't know if you knew this, Julie, but um, I'm uh, 27 years wow. being sober. Good for you. And I, yes. And I believe without, you know, one of the steps is, you know, give your things to God and your higher power. They call it higher power. I choose Jesus and God. But, you know, it's... It, it's just, it's just amazing how he can work miracles in our lives. But that's why I changed my whole business just in the last couple of months to faith and fitness and putting God first and making him at the helm, especially through times like now, which is so yes. easy. So I just love that you're here and that you, you know, you're getting through this. We can all get through this together. And I believe, you know, just, just the women that are on here today and who's going to watch the replay and watch YouTube and the Facebooks and all of these platforms. I mean, I just feel in my heart that I want to just share whatever my story is to empower and influence other women so that they can realize, yes, I can put, put my faith, but I also need to put my health, you know, yeah. Naomi, and now you're sharing, um, Vicki, I've, I've spoke to you before personally, we have health issues. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not easy. And we have to really at one, take some action. Like Naomi was saying, it's time to take action. And I love that. Because if you're listening or watching later, you know, that's the third step in, in all of my courses is one, we have to um, make a decision, what, right? That we're worth it and we deserve mm-hmm. to be healthy because exactly. without it, what, what all this stuff and everything that we put first, you know, in our lives to build, you know, an empire or a business or a beautiful home or raise our children or whatever the case may be, that if we aren't healthy enough to enjoy it, what's the point, Right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, you guys. And um, I don't know if anybody saw on, on some of my channels, my platforms, I actually did a, a, a COVID story. And it was just so impactful for me because I got really sick, you guys, for three weeks. And I'm telling you, during that time, because it was very scary. I have my faith, of course, but I just I was in this brain fog and days just rolled into each other. And literally three weeks of just barely being able to feed my dog and then I barely fed myself. I lost close to 30 pounds, which is no joke. And I'm not really heavy to begin with. So you can imagine, Naima, you saw me at conference. I was sucked in, like, you know, I was, just wasn't my, 
fit self. But I believe that I experienced that and came through it. One, because I was healthy going in. I have a very, you know, healthy lifestyle. So this is why I'm here to encourage you through the week as we go through this challenge is to get our immune system boosted up so we can fight things like this. But two, I had my faith. And, and three, I believe is to share the message of how important it is to take our health seriously. So I really want to share because it, the wealth doesn't matter. I could have been in a, you know, I say this all the time, a $10 million mansion. I could have had Lamborghinis in the garage for limousines, all this wealth. But if I couldn't get off my couch, which I couldn't, none of that mattered. It just doesn't. So I love that you guys are on here. You're taking a look. You're making that decision with step one. Step two is taking a stand for yourself, making sure that, yes, you put your faith, but you put your health in as a priority it, for this very reason. So you can fight things that are coming our way and survive it, right? If I believe if I would have went to the hospital, they would probably throw me on a respirator and I probably wouldn't be here because <laughs> I know a lot of people that aren't coming out of the hospital. I mean, I'm just going to be direct. This thing is very scary because we don't know what it's capable of doing. What we're seeing now, people are, are, are dying around us, coming with all these diseases. It's just crazy. Anyways, it's not about COVID. This is about getting healthy. So what's step two here? So if you guys want to you know, write down the stuff, what you, why you decided to start, take the challenge, I appreciate you. If you're watching online, you can DM me or put it in the chat, some of your answers. And then... Um, Dedicating a work schedule is being committed to yourself. Now, how much time are you willing to give for yourself? So you're giving yourself this time now, and then again, for people later, but how much is we have to take that commitment, which was step two, right? We have to decide we're worth it, make a commitment because step three is what? Take action, right? We have to implement some of these things we're going to be learning as we go through. So if you guys want to take a notes for yourself, fill in the workbook, however you guys want to do it. I think it's very important to actually make a commitment to yourself that not only are you going to be on the challenge every day, but what are you going to do outside of this and continue and make this a habit, make this a lifestyle, carving out special time for just you, whether you do it in the morning, in the middle of the day, the afternoon, or the evening, whatever you can fit that in, but make that commitment that you deserve this time to whether it's, you know, meditation, yoga, some prayer time. And then a little bit of exercise. And it doesn't have to be this crazy strenuous thing. If you're, you know, even just walking the dog around the block or, or taking a personal walk, whatever it, whatever it is that gets you out and moving that you can just close, you know, close your mind off and dedicate it to your health. Pray about it. Whatever works for you, you guys, this is so important. So if you make a commitment you're going to tend to follow it. But if you just are laxy daisy about it, I'm, I'm guilty of this too. Oh, I'll get to that tomorrow. And then tomorrow's tomorrow. <laughs> it's called procrastination, right? But we have to really focus on this. So, and then if you see the next page is some fitness goals. I'd really like to see you guys fill this out. Like what are your, what are your top goals? Um, you shared your more health issues, but on a fitness, let's talk about that and maybe write some things down there. And if, this is what, you know, this is important too, because you have a start, start goal and then a finishing goal. What is your weight? What is your, um, you know, chest, waist, hips, arms, body fat? If you have access to one of those tests, that's great. If you don't just kind of, you know, you can just get a measuring tape and measure where you're out. Cause I want you guys to see as we go through getting results. Okay. We're going to say this at the end. So let me stop my share for right now. Okay. So you guys have any questions so far on the questions I'm asking you? Vicki, you've been quiet. How you doing, girlfriend? Want to unmute yourself? Does yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. Suffering from a UTI today, so that's why I'm kind of quiet. Got a little fever going on. But this struggle is real, guys, because... I'm 400 pounds, but I still work on it daily. And, and the emotions is what's keeping me from getting it off. It's just dealing with my emotions. Okay. Are you in any sort of therapy or anything for that? Um, I do have a, uh, a counselor that I talk to through my insurance company. But okay. sometimes, you know, 
counselors, as good as they are, they don't understand the weight issues. So I haven't really found one that's really plugged into me yet to get down to the nitty gritty. But I'm still working on it and still doing prayer. Awesome. awesome. I, I still believe I'm going to get there one day. You will. will. And, and Julie's praying for you. We'll all pray for you because, it you, again, your, your health, honey, you've got, you know, you take care of yourself. And I love the mindset. And I know you're on a lot of my power hours. And, and you and I have, you know, I've spent some time with you and trying to get that mindset set up that you deserve to be healthier. Yeah. And let your emotions, you know, keep you from it. Right. You, you said that before and you're saying it again. So maybe that's something that you and I can work on later because that's, yeah. that comes from the mindset. Yeah. And Cause I want it desperately. I want to be here. I want my family to you know, be around me. It's not something I'm taking lightly. It's not like I'm watching all these things and not trying because I am, it's just, I do real good. And then all of a sudden I drop boat to the bottom again and have to start over. But the one thing about it is God still got me here for a purpose. That's right, okay. girlfriend. <laughs> well, I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely will. And you guys, real quick before I forget, if you guys can join the Body Breakthrough Challenge on my past challenges, as I've got a private Facebook group, uh, we'll put the link in the chat. Let me see. Let me share it here. Um, ba -ba -bum. That is where you'll see a lot of my past um, challenges where they're very uh, physical. So today we're just kind of setting you up for success. I want to talk about what equipment to get, what you can expect in the next four days. Let's see, here it is. It's called the Body Breakthrough Club. There's a picture of it there. If you guys can jump on and join that because it is private, I do have to accept you. But I'd love to share with you past challenges because they're they were really hard. <laughs> Where we, you know, we just did booty all, you know, all week. We just did abs all week. And people were like, oh my gosh, I'm so sore, Lord. So, but if you, that is your calling, please join the Body Breakthrough Challenge. We will, or the club, and we will accept you there. And you can always go back because we taped every single one of them. And you can see there's tons of information here. Um, some quotes from me, different um, branding stuff. My Power Hour events are on there. You can hear from some of my um, amazing coaches, speakers, authors that we've interviewed over the, um, gosh, I think I have 35 episodes of them. You can see them all here, some fun stuff, but they're all here all five days. There's my egg whites. We're going to go over that on day three. Uh, lots and lots of stuff. So I've done five challenges prior to this, which was all workout. And I just want to make sure you don't miss that because you can go actually go back and really get a full on workout starting today. And that's going to be some of your homework. Because I'm going to, and also, let me see. If you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. COVID story. Oh, there's my COVID story that I just talked about. I, I can hear that again. But my YouTube channel, the link is also going to be in the chat. I have right here, day one, belly and booty challenge. So they're all here. Belly, booty, body, breakthrough challenge. Day, all five days are here. And each day I want you guys to go back. Silence oh, go back and watch that and do it with me online because I'm not going to waste our time here because I know everybody's really busy. So it's going to try to keep this short each day, give you the homework because I've already filmed all this stuff. I don't want to have to repeat myself because they're there. They're exciting. They're engaging. So day one, if you guys can see my screen, yes. Can you guys see my screen? It has the belly breakthrough challenge. There's day one right here. Yes, I can see it. Okay, thank you. So you can see all, oh, not that. So Lauren, my, my question yes, let's is go. when you're just starting out <laughs> with my health Hold on. and my health issues and then, you know, bad back and all that other great stuff I've been blessed with. Uh -huh. How do I, I just need to start, you know, just, I, I started to do a little of the, one pound weight okay. just with my arms. And um, so maybe we could talk about that. I don't know where, but I just, I, you know, just walking around the block, I just keep trying to move. But I know yes. when I started to do those little bit of weights, it just, you know, I think because I haven't done anything, I get very, very sore in my neck. So okay. 
that's one thing I just want to, you know, I, I want to do something like my brain wants to do it, but my body's fighting me because I haven't done anything for so long. So, okay. We'll see. We're all at different levels. That's why, again, I have the, the replays on, on mm -hmm. my YouTube channel that are there for you guys. They're free. Just please subscribe to it. And I have mod, uh, modifications on there. Okay. But Jules, I would love, since we're friends, I'd love to, to see you personally and kind of get you started nice and slow with where you meet you, where you're at. And then we talk about where you want to be. And then we kind of close that gap. That's part of my training courses and things that I, I do offer VIP in person. You actually come here and, and, and work out with me. And I have one pound weights. I have three pound. I have five pound. I have eight and 10 and so on. Um, to again, train people again, where they're at. And I think that's my gift is to not overdo. We don't want you getting injured. We don't want to hurt you. Um, I don't claim to be a doctor or any of that. I just know, I know fitness. I've been around this for a long, long time. And I've seen people, you know, like in Vicky's case, I've, I had another gal that weighed 426 pounds and we got her down. She could barely walk to the, to the restroom and through the, my coaching and training. And she was in Canada. So it was, it was on zoom. Um, she was able to lose a ton of weight. We still have maybe less than hundred pounds to go, but she's up dancing and, you know, living life. She's walking, she's moving, she's exercising. I had her on the ground. She was doing, you know, uh, a core exercise. Like it was amazing. The transformation that happened. So I can take someone like that or someone that's been injured like yourself or someone that just wants to tone, trim, and firm up for a competition. I have another gal that's just coming today. She's, we're putting her in a competition for her first time on December 5th. So I have a few weeks to get her ready and ready to go. So I have a vast knowledge in this area. So yeah, Jules, I'd love to, to help you on that. Um, so those are the, that's the homework, you guys, is to go back and, and you can see on my screen on the YouTube channel, day one, day two, day three, four, and five. Go at your own pace with your own weights, or you don't even have to use weights at all. That's part of the, the beauty of this. And then um, for more advanced, you just use heavier weights and different, um, you know, styles and techniques that I'm sh I show in the challenge. So there's, a, I mean, there's just so much content there that. So which one are we actually doing? Because I see several. What's the name yeah. of the one we should focus on? Um, this one here is a five day challenge Yay. body breakthrough. Body breakthrough is the name. Okay. Yeah. I've got belly, booty, and body. So it's a combination of oh, all, all of the above. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all three. Cause I broke Thank it down. You. I have just a booty. I just have a belly. I just have, you know, the, the body, Yay. but I believe that one is an overall for, for this week anyways. And you're going to go back and watch any of them at any time. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of YouTube, that the videos are there. It's on there forever. I, you know, had a pretty good production team with all of these. Um, my, you know, my team filmed it all. I had better lighting. Like you'll see that they're very well done. But for, for day today, I just want to introduce what's going on. Um, if you do not have bands or hand weights or a stability ball, I strongly suggest just go on Amazon or a Walmart or Target, any of those stores can have those. They're very cheap. And we'll go through and you can see that I use some of that equipment in the challenges. Easier. I'm gonna do some more workouts um, on day four and five, to, just so you know, you know, what, what the feedback from the group, what you guys wanna see. I can do a couple exercises here, some of my favorites before we go today. But um, I wanted to make sure that you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the private Facebook group, know the homework, and then have your workbook. So those are four things that I want to make sure that everybody is on board with. So can, got can I ask you a question? Of course. Can, I mean, I feel like I start and stop, start and stop. Is, is, it, is it possible to like get over, is it possible to get over that hump? to get past that. I mean, cause it's like, I get so far and I'm feeling great. And then something happens, my back goes out. And then I just think crap. And I feel like I'm always starting over. Is there ever a spot where it gets over the dang fence? You know, <laughs> I feel your pain, girlfriend. I've done it myself. And then you feel like a brand newcomer and everything hurts. Um, it's called accountability and community. 
those two things have helped. If you can have a partner or a coach or a trainer, whatever it is that holds you accountable for your own, you know, goals, whether it's me or, or, or anybody, it doesn't matter, but that's what the body breakthrough club is for. So you can make some friends inside there. Um, and th that holds you accountable. I can hold you accountable and then build that community and a partner is very, um, powerful, if you will, to hold, to make you keep going on those days that you don't feel like doing something or you're hurting or whatever, just someone that can talk you through it. You know, maybe you can find a partner through here, um, you know, reach out to me. I can set you up with somebody, but I get it. Staying that it's called consistency because once you keep working on your body, it does get easier. You don't have that lactic acid build up so much. I'm going to, you know, give you some supplements and some things to that I, that I use to promote my own health so I can keep going through those days and, you know, prayer and all that helps. <laughs> and then making, like I said, back to the goals, making that commitment to yourself. So it's actually carving out time on your calendar that I found is so effective because you, it's there. It's like you're booking an appointment with yourself. You know what I'm saying? And so, and if you have another partner that's doing it, the same thing with you, because there's so with technology now and this virtual uh, platforms, you can have someone all any, they don't have to be with you in the, in, in the gym or in your house. They can be anywhere in the world and you guys can meet on zoom and then hold each other accountable. Cause if you know, someone's waiting for you, even for me, when I was competing and doing all these things, my trainer was waiting for me at the gym and I'm paying for it. Believe me, my butt's there, right? So, because someone's counting on you. So I think those two things um, for everybody is the same thing. Have an accountability partner and have a community where you can build and, and have a place to go to on the days that you don't quite feel like doing it. And then get some advice or get some pep talk, whatever it is that you're looking for that day. Thank you. Um, does that I, make sense? I agree. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I mean, it's just starting. I just got to start. You got to start. That's that first step. Make a decision. Boom. <laughs> you're here. Day one. You made a decision. You signed up. It. You registered. You actually showed up. Like I said, there's a lot of people that registered that aren't, that didn't show up for various reasons. And I get it, you guys. I get it. I've signed up for tons of things and then I'll watch a replay. But it's definitely more effective here because look at we're interacting. I'm guys giving you guys this time to talk to me personally, get some questions answered, get some motivation from me. Know that you're in, you know, you're safe. You're in the right place. I'm here for you. I, I'm designed to do this. I just know that. Um, do you guys want to see a couple exercises now for homework or do, what would best yes. serve you? That'd be great. I wanted to back you up there, um, Lauren, because yeah. um, there's reciprocity that takes place when you have a partner, mm -hmm. whether it's a, a spouse or a friend or a community. And if you say, I'm going to go work out for 12 weeks, I'm going to work out three times a day and you say it, and then you start tracking your progress, then it starts to become, oh, wait, she's not here. I'm expecting her to work out. Why hasn't she told me she's done it? The reciprocity is a, actually a, a human communication style. What Lauren's explaining is that commitment, the action step, the commitment, and then staying in that space. Absolutely. Thanks, Amy. Yes, that's so true. It just is, a, especially if you have an investment in yourself, like, if you've hired a coach or a personal trainer, I call myself a custom physique designer like that, <laughs> a custom physique designer, because I'm not to be confused with just a personal trainer, because I go deep. I go into what's your blocking, blocking you. What's the mindset around not taking care of yourself? What is, you know, basically what is stopping you? What are those limiting beliefs? What is that negative self-talk? You know, Vicki, you said you have emotions. But what are those emotions? What are they? What stems from them? How can we uncover that and then release them and switch it out for positive self-talk that you, you know, say you wake up and say, I am worth it. I am enough. I deserve to be the most fabulous, fit, fierce female I can possibly be. And, and you start talking to yourself this way and change all that verbiage, because believe me, we, what we tell ourselves, it goes deep into a cellular, cellular level and then your body responds. So if you keep beating yourself up and saying, you know, I don't deserve this. I'm not this. I'm, you know, I'm too old. I'm too tired. I'm too, I've heard it all. And, and it happens. It's, it's called life and human nature, this negative self-talk. And there's so many coaches that coach on this, just this alone to get rid of that. 
um, I include that with my packages because I believe that's the stem of it. We change that up, we make that decision, we take a stand for ourselves, and then all the other stuff, the diet, the nutrition, the exercise, the hydration, the sleep, the stress, and all of those things are part of a daily lifestyle that we emphasize on and, and have an accountability party partner, Julie, and, and having um, a community and a tribe of, of like-minded people. I started with that when we first went live, that we were building a community now, and the Body Breakthrough Club was designed for that, to go in and ask questions and get some answers and get feedback and and share, you know, some struggles that you may be going through or have gone through to help another woman out. Or, you know, it's just so important to have this tribe. Um, and I am and I, we, we, we're at, you know, a networking group all the time and, and we can interact with other women that are around our age and maybe have experienced some of these things and just share information. And, and I believe that's what community is, is, is a platform and a place that's safe, it's it has uh, people that wanted to give advice and and just and help you out so i'm i'm real excited about that as well so a couple of things we got the workbook we got the youtube channel we got the the community club um i believe there was in the there if you guys want a personal talk with me make sure that you know that i am available the link is also in the chat to get on my calendar and let's just have that free talk i know vicky i gave you you know a lot of my free time and a lot of free advice in the past when i very first met you you know, jump on a call. It's free for anybody that's in this challenge. And if you want something personal, we want to dive deeper on some of these areas that I've talked about. I just want to make sure you guys know that and it's clear that I am, I'm here. I'm here for you. This is what, this is what I'm meant to do. It's my passion and my pur purpose to go for faith and fitness. So there you go. What else? Um, a couple exercises, and then I've given you the homework. And let me stop my share. I have to see all my entire world here. There we go. Yes. So, Jules, if you have a ball, I'm a big fan of the stability ball and a big fan of light weights. Let me just see if you guys can see now. And just a mat. Really quick, though, you guys always want to stretch before. So it's a, and a, and a warm up and a cool down. So however much time that you allot yourself to get into this lifestyle, if you're brand, especially if you're brand new, you want to stretch out the muscles. So if you're working legs, you want to stretch out your legs, you want to stretch out your core, you want to stretch out your arms, whatever it may be. If you're working on triceps, you know, do, do a nice stretch. Doing the hands over, you guys can do it with me or you just want to watch me. It's up to you. <laughs> there you go, Julie. Yeah, I wasn't was sure if we were supposed to do it. So and it's all it's it, it's interactive again that we place here, and those those prior challenges are there that go through a complete warm up. It's like a full hour of training. Okay, prepare to sweat. We per, it's like no nonsense. We get in and we 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 kill it. Does this ever go away? <laughs> what the, what the is that? Bingo, the bingo wave. <laughs> What is that? It's like I saw that old ladies and I was like, no, I've got that now. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's we call it the bingo way when you're like bingo and it keeps going. I know. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> right. I know. It's called gravity and age and lack of exercise. Uh, lack of exercise. I know. Yes. But OK, so that's since you brought that up, we'll, we'll do a little bit triceps. So we'll just stretch them out a little bit. So I like to keep the um, bicep by the ears. So you do okay. one arm and you're reaching in the back here. Okay. And and just hold it for a few minutes and breathe. You want to always inhale and exhale. Breath is power, ladies. Switch on going is, to the big arms. Is there something you can do if you have bad shoulders? Um, range of motion, you want to keep what, wherever your body limits are. I don't like to push beyond. If your body's telling you something, that goes for everyone. Um, always listening is don't hurt yourself for one. We don't want any injuries. So you want to listen to your body. It talks to you. Um, so shoulders, you can just do shoulder rolls. In fact, we can just do these because these feel good. And wherever your range of motion is, Vicki, just do what you can and you'll find with time and consistency with anything, things will get better as we go through. 
that make sense? Yes. You see me? Shoulder yes. rolls, I love shoulder rolls. You can do big straight arms all the way up and around. And with this, this, I like to go really big, as, as big as you can, as far as your range of motion, and then bring it in smaller. Smaller, <laughs> smaller, smaller. Don't tense up the traps. You want to relax here. Keep going into really tight circles. This works on the shoulders. Keep going here. This is your lateral deltoid. You have an anterior deltoid. I'm going to just take off my shirt here. Keep going, ladies. So you can see I'm kind of an anatomy chart here. So the shoulder rolls, the tight, and then reverse the direction. So super small, and then go slightly bigger, and then all the way up and around. This should just feel good. This is a nice shoulder stretch. We did some tricep stretch. And then if you have some hand weights, um, I strongly suggest that. And like Jules was saying, she has one pound. My go-to are eight pounds for shoulders. Um, we can just do side raises. If you don't have any weights, that's fine. But just raising the shoulders out and then resist down. So it's up and hold and resist down. Up and and hold. so if you haven't done this, so yeah, just do a few. Weight. You can use just use your own body weight. Okay. And then breathe. So it's I think I forget to breathe. Yes. Breath is power, ladies. And activating your TVA. I'm just going to get some basic stuff today again, because we can go over all this later. And it's part of your homework is to continue with the training. <laughs> so what were you going to do on the ball? The ball is one of my favorite pieces. Do you guys have one? I've got a ball. Okay. Because you can do all those exercises on the ball. And it goes from the living room to the garage, to the garage, to the living room. <laughs> Bust it out. So you get your equipment ready. This is part of day one, setting up for the success. Okay. Get your mindset right. Realize that you are worth it. You're going to carve out time for yourself. You're going to set some fitness goals for yourself. You're going to jot down some measurements and weight just so we have a starting point. It's personal. You don't have to show me, but so you can see the results as you go forward. And that keeps you motivated when you start feeling better, maybe losing weight, getting a little bit stronger. It keeps you going, right? So we want to track that. Very mm -hmm. important. So I gave you a couple of charts in your workbook to track this. Okay. Print it out. And no, the ball, I like to even use it as a, a chair because it's unstable, right? Anytime you put your body in an unstable position, you're activating stabilizer muscles. Otherwise, you'd fall down. So some of these exercises I like to do, let me just put this down here. The one man show today is move my chair. There we go. It's just lifting one foot, slightly make two, two, three inches off the ground, and then do figure eights. Figure eights for stability. See, I need to work on it myself. Being uh, flexible, and stable with balance is super key as we get older. Go one way, then the other way. And after you go do that a few times, switch legs. These are just basic core things that you can do sitting anywhere while you're on a Zoom call, while you're watching. Are you tightening What's when you that? do that? Are you tightening when you do that, like your stomach or anything, or are you just? Yes, and I'm going to talk about that right now. I, I'm wearing another hat because I've got my waist trainer on, and I love this. It feels really good around my back as well. I don't know if you have any type of back brace. Yes. Jules, that you, yes. you weigh, but you want to activate your transverse abdominal muscles. Okay. Well, I mean, that's the core that wraps around your body, kind of like your tree trunk. Okay. And the way you do that is you draw belly button to spine, okay. back and up. And that engages your, your entire core. So if we all can do it together, just while we're sitting here, it's an exercise you don't even have to move. And this is one of the first things I start with because you can get abs without even doing sit-ups. <laughs> it's another big hack. Because it's just like while you're driving, while you're sitting, while you're um, 
uh, shopping with your shopping cart, you can be doing this and your abs will actually feel it. So this belly button back to spine is back and up. Then you still have to be able to speak and breathe. So breath again is power. So we always want to take deep inhales and exhale on the exertion. So if you're, for example, you're doing a bicep curl with or without weight. So you're exerting to pull it up. So let's say it's heavy. Ugh, you want to breathe out. So and then inhale down. That's for example, but you want to do that on every single thing. So when you're just sitting on the ball, you want to activate your TVA. So abs in. And again, if you want to lift up a, a leg, like little off the ground, I'm a big fan of this. You'll see in all my body, my home workout, I do this in everything because I like compound exercises. In other words, you're working one, more than one body part at a time. So I'm working on my core here. I lifted the leg up here. I can do my bicep curls here. I can do my triceps, which you want me to show you. You don't even need weights. You want the elbows in, extend, and flex. And as you exhale, as you extend out, always exhale on the exertion. So whatever you're doing, exhale on it. When it's hard, you're breathing out. EE is how I remember it. Exhale on exertion. And then so on the ball, again, great piece of equipment. So if you don't have one, I encourage you to get one. I don't know, they're like 15 bucks, something like that. It's not an expensive piece of equipment, but it is so versatile. I have an entire workout just on this ball, every body part. We can do our abs, we can do our chest, we can do our low back, we can do our legs. A lot of uh, core work on this. Again, you'll see in the challenges. Can you like turn sideways when you do that, when you say pull your stomach in and up? Can you turn yeah, sideways? Is that a neoprene thing? Because I think I have one of those. Can I, can I turn sideways? Yeah. I want to show you and, my then, and then when you pull your regular, so this is in, in up, and you can see it activates oh, wow. my abs. So in. So it's back and up. And then it's. You can see they come out and I have to still be able to speak while I'm flexed. So you can feel it. You'll get sore just from doing this, but it's a conscious. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's not it's like already. The stuff it's is like very detailed, but I'm, you know, I've got 30 years experience of doing this, but believe me, when I started, I didn't even know how to breathe right. I was so frustrated with myself because I was breathing the opposite, which is very common. So that's why I keep saying exhale on exertion. So when it's hard, you want to be blowing out. These are basic things, but I'm setting you up again for success, for your training in everything that you do, every body part that you do. Just standing here sitting, I'm activating that core. That's how I got those six pack abs. People think, oh, would you do a thousand sit-ups a day? I'm like, no, I do like six, <laughs> right? Because I breathe properly and I'm activating that core on everything I do. So if I'm working chest or arms, that core is still engaged and it's still working. So these are key things. No matter you, wherever you are in your fitness level, you can start today and learn from this and start maybe a few minutes a day because you'll get sore. I'm tired already. It's yes. like, it's like yes. exhausting. My yes, because it's, it's, you're doing it correctly. <laughs> that's the thing. You're doing it right. And that's I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. So that's your homework. Work on that TVA, that activation. Go on YouTube, look at day one, watch it, engage with it, do as much as you can at your own pace. You guys, okay. you're by yourself. No one's judging or watching you. You're not filming it. That's why on the Zoom call, I just want you guys to see me, interact with me, get Great. some questions answered. We're going we're gonna to go through this. It's only day one. And to make sure you have all your uh, information, there we go, that you need for this week's okay. challenge. So what else? Awesome. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So we're almost at the top of the hour. It goes by quick. I'm telling you. Thanks. So. I already feel like I'm breathing because I can feel. <laughs> this. I know yeah. I'm all tired. Like my muscles are like exhausted. I'm like, come on. I'm only sitting here doing that. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, by now. Um, I understand, but it's a start. That's the thing. Do not, please, you guys, if I can say anything today is give yourself grace. Okay. 
not beat yourself up. Like, how did I get here? What happened? I don't have any strength. I'm already tired, whatever. That again, you're telling yourself, give yourself grace. And that's the first step because it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's a, you can start from where you are now, make a decision today. You're mm -hmm. here, you're listening, you're watching replay, wherever you're at in your, your goal, it's okay. If we sit there and beat ourselves up, that causes stress, which causes cortisol, which hangs on to fat. Opposite of what we want, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. I agree. Yes. Yeah, so let that go. Take nice deep breaths. Work on some things. Start slow. It doesn't matter. That's not a race. We're changing a lifestyle and we're making health a habit. This is what I'm all about. This is, you know, a long-term investment. It doesn't happen overnight. This five-day thing is just a quick reset to get you thinking give you a couple of things, give you lots of videos to watch, get access to me, um, things like that. So you can continue on. You know what I mean? Our day is not going to cut it right, right now. We got to start working on what it's going to take. You know what I mean? To get to where your goals are. Like I said, I have three months, I have six months, I have year long programs of people I work with depending on what their goals are to get them on the right track. And that's kind of where we're at. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Of course. That's what I'm here for. It's great to see you. So yeah, if you guys want more that home workout, it's a membership. I have it for a special for like 27 bucks. You guys, you get access to me, all my top tips and tricks for each body part. Um, we'll be adding stuff as we go in there, but it's, it's very inexpensive to learn my 30 years of experience slammed into one little membership. There's a QR code right there. If you want to sign up, you just put your camera on that little code and it'll go right to the sign up. And I highly, highly suggest that. As I go down, I go, I, like I said, I break it down by each body part and make it simple too. So anybody can try it and learn. You can see I have the ball there. Jules, I'm showing the balls with some weight. Some yeah, I see exercises. That. Yeah, it's a lot of fun and very, very easy to follow, follow with. Um, what else? I'd like to end with my scripture from my workbook. And let's see, where is, is it? it? The Proverbs 29. Yeah. Do you see it there? Do you want to say it, hon? Um, where'd it go? I'm looking in my Bible and it looks different than what yours says, but I yours? actually took a picture of it. Okay. <laughs> I lost mine too. Let's see. Hold on. Um, Proverbs. It is dangerous to be concerned with what others think of you, but if you trust the Lord, you are safe. Amen. Boom. Amen. Isn't that powerful? Yes, I it's agree. So true. That's another thing too, is don't worry about, if I worry about what people thought of me, I would have been crushed years ago. But you know what? <laughs> it's true. I don't care because everything I do in life, I stand out, right? I dare to be different. Right. And that makes me me. So that's my, my motto. <laughs> I'd like to share one um, other thing from Open Doors. I'd like to say this and uh, read the daily. Uh, oh, Rick Warren, I like him. Yeah, Rick Warren from Saddleback. It says, why do you need others in tough times? There you go. Kind of to talk about what, we, what your question was. Because you are praying for me and the spirit of Jesus Christ is helping me, I know this trouble will bring my freedom. That's Philippians 1, 119. So it says, when you experience a setback, your natural response may be to withdraw, to build a wall around yourself and to push people away. There's a better way. When setbacks weaken your faith, allow other people to trust God for you. You need a church family to help support you, pray for you and encourage you. That's what I'm building here, right? Yes. Support team. Paul was strengthened by his Holy Spirit and by prayers to others. of others. You need to be connected if you want people to pray for you. When you're in the midst of troubles, redirect your attention away from bitterness. Join with others who can encourage you to trust in God and help you praise him for what he has done in your life. Where do you find that kind of support? Boom. In my body breakthrough, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> you can find it by joining others for worship at a local church. Worshiping God with other people will give you a new and needed perspective on your setbacks. You can also get involved in a small group Bible study. Most churches are too big for you to build relationships <laughs> by only attending worship services. You need a group of about a dozen people where you not only study the Bible, but also share your struggles and pray for each other. 
you won't find a comeback on your own. You need God's people to build you up and help you keep your focus on God. Yep. And I right? Agree. That, so I agree. Totally agree. It just came. This is my big song. That's so crazy. It was God calling. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, right on, Lauren. Yes, but isn't that amazing? Like I just, that is today's um, devotion and it's exactly what you brought to the group today, the, the questions. So he, you ask, he answers. Absolutely. I mean, so amazing, right? And there's the Proverbs scripture there. Mm -hmm. So there you go. We're, it's right at one o'clock. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'd love to see you, you know, share this with, with you know, people that you feel can, can need this. Again, there's a lot more exercises, a lot more on the challenges within the YouTube channel. I just, I'd love you guys to subscribe to that. It is free. I'm building that now. So you'll be helping me out. There's Coach Millie. I, know. I was there's like, that. she like turned over. It was so funny watching her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she always makes an appearance. She's on every video I've ever done. She's adorable. Uh, she loves the mat. She starts coaching. She likes yeah. her, she likes your Ottoman. <laughs> yeah look at her scratching <laughs> oh, Millie, you're so silly and you see my sign grateful i love that awesome yeah, i do too and i believe when we're grateful for what we do have versus looking to what we don't have it makes all the difference yes right absolutely so i can do all things through christ who strengthens me amen, amen. we're working on our strength together that's in our physical body but we're also working on our mental physical spiritual financial and emotional so Perfect. that's, that's my, that's my jam. You guys, Thank you. So I appreciate you being here. Day two is tomorrow. <clears throat> We're going to talk about some um, clothes that give you confidence. This outfit here is the savvy. This is a line that I endorse. You can see how cute the, I like the pants. Are. Those are very cute. Aren't they fun? And then yeah, the shirt is all open. It's super cute, but it's so soft. You guys, you can't feel it through the computer, but Hey, I have a class at uh, tomorrow with my institute class, so I'm not sure if I can jump on at noon. Okay, but I'll try. We're gonna record it for you though, too. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. try. I love your, your love your insight and your your questions and your engagement. Thanks, Lauren. I appreciate yeah, it. You're absolutely welcome. Miss you, girl. Stay in touch with me. Get get on my call. Okay. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> right. Vicky, you're in my prayers, sweetheart. Yeah, see? See how that works? Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. All right. We feel better, Vicki. Thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys. All Thank right. you. Be, strong, be fierce and be you. Boom. Day one. Day one. Bye. Is done.